am I going to go dumpster diving in my own dumpster? I'm afraid I'm going to go dumpster diving in my own dumpster. And my friends, I only have one arm. I have one arm. One shoulder doesn't work, but I want to check out that DVD that someone's tossed into my dumpster so bad. Well, come on. I'm putting y'all over here. Look at that roll of hay. Jolene has done that. That's all Jolene. There's been no big animals in here. She is the one who does that. And you know why? Because of who knows. You know whose blood runs through and through her, right? Tex. Grandpa's blood runs through her, y'all. Have y'all ever got the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Look out, Tilly. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Tilly. Well, you about to go head to head with Pebbles? You're not going to win that one, baby. Oh, no. Sorry, Pebbles. Guys, it's the same. Look at the dominoes fall because they all want to lick the spoon. They all want to lick the spoon. How many of y'all remember the days when mom would make a cake and you got to lick that spoon? Oh, boy, those are the good old days, huh? And this is kind of the same thing. I served the oatmeal out of this, this bucket. And right now, what they all want to do is lick the spoon. <laughs> Surely that was clever. Now, it's a new formula. It's a new feed. Look at Bucky's. He's letting all you guys know it's a new feed. And so sometimes, and then Voodoo scratching his behind. Voodoo is literally scratching his behind on the fence. And as of right now, he's at the bottom of that pecking order. Even in this pasture. Even around here, he's just not really far, very far up on the pecking order. Watch this. <laughs> even as I speak, my friends, even as I speak, Jolene walks up and nubs me. I'd like to show you guys something that you don't see very often. Waylon and Jolene, they do make their way up to the water trough. Waylon, I'm just coming to say hello. So Waylon is still a little bit nervous about being in a confined space whenever daddy walks up. He's never gonna be as gentle. Well, I say never. There's two things that are gonna always work against us with Waylon. Number one, he's a bull. And because he's a bull calf, just like Tex, they're always gonna be a little bit more uh, I'm just going to say Leary. They're always going to be... Oh, his voice is slowly coming back. He's always going to be a little bit more Leary of enclosed spaces. You guys know how Tex is. And uh, Carl, Donkey Dan. Oh, his little voice is so soft. But... Um, that will always be something that's going to work against us because that's just something. I am trying to make a video here, Jolene and Waylon. And Indy, looking so cute, is not making it any easier. She got a scratchy and itchy. So um, a lot of our female longhorns, you've all seen how close we can get to Pearl. Oh, no, look. <laughs> Jolene's getting close to Annie, and Annie has put her ears back, and she has a loogie in her throat that she's about to spit all over Jolene's cute little face. Jolene might want to move away. She doesn't get it. Annie. <laughs> and Annie is teaching Indy all of her bad habits. So, I was saying that we will always more than likely have, you know, be difficult to get so close to Waylon. The same way we can't get close to Tex... But the females aren't quite as leery as the males. They're a little, bit, a little bit more trusting. And so you've seen us be able to grab the horns and touch the horns. Now, we can't love on them. You can't walk up and love on them, per se. But uh, Jolene is a whole lot more gentle than Waylon. But then again, Waylon's been through quite the ordeal the last couple of weeks. Guys, being moved off his mom at such a young age, having to learn to live around i'm just gonna say a bunch of bullies and that uh, he's found himself where he was being pampered by mom and dad in a pasture with only mom and dad now he's being mixed in with a whole lot of other bovine who are not related 
And when that happens, then there comes that pecking order thing we always talk about. And as of right now, he's at the bottom of that pecking order. Even in this pasture, even around here, he's just not really fought very far up on the pecking order. Watch this. <laughs> even as I speak, my friends, even as I speak, Jolene walks up and nubs him and just gives him a, look at Indy looking up at him. Even as I'm talking about the pecking order, Jolene walks up and just uh, nudges him in the side. Says, where do you think you're going? If you're, if you're going somewhere, you let me know. I need to know what you're up to at all times. And Waylon's like, I only wanted to look at Indy. I only wanted to see Indy up close. And that's cute. I may have messed them up. They were probably coming up to get a drink of water. And I sit here and messed them up. Let me walk away a little bit. There's other animals I can love on for sure. Like, in particular, this little girl right here named Ivy. Oh, she really does love to get scratches. Yes, she does. The horses always come up around midday. I know, there's also some donkeys out here. See, the horses come up around midday and uh, they like to stand here in the shade, get them some fresh water and get out of that midday sun. Ooh, how handsome is that? Wow, we Cornholio, very impressive. Very impressive. So you guys are probably looking around saying, man, Lester, that barn is a mess. That barn is a wreck. Yes, I will admit, this barn is quite the wreck. And that's because we haven't had Jake here to do any of the chores for two weeks. So that means, and then of course, you all know that we've been pretty much stationed over at Longhorn Lester's with Fiona just trying to make rounds back and forth to feed everybody up and make sure everyone's needs are being taken care of. There hasn't really been time to do any deep cleaning. And so, I will say there's some good news to talk about. Now, it may look a little strange to you all, a little odd that we have all these Halloween decorations sitting out and about, but the good thing is we have not had any guineas come, come around since I've put up all of my, all of my, my scaries, which is awesome. That just goes to show you how dumb those guineas are. I really, I haven't even seen a guinea. I, I haven't seen a guinea like in a week. So let's hope that when we get the rain this weekend, I, I, don't, I don't see any guineas. Like, I don't know where Kim's battalion has gone. Her entire brigade. Okay, so actually I do see some guineas over there in Brienne's yard, look. Right there un under her, around her light pole, her meter box. There's a couple over there. That would be the Pop Hall's platoon. Ooh, look at the flies. We don't like that, Jolene. Let's move it over here a little bit, baby. Wonder why all these flies are here. We haven't had a fly issue in a while because it's been so dry. That kind of surprises me. I'm gonna feed you too if you'll give me time. Come on, Waylon. All right. So what you see here, this is a different formula, a mixture than what the other cows get. This here is some stuff. There are quite a few flies today. Well, I can't wait for our first frost because our first frost will end all of that. But sometimes you need a good frost. Oh, so they're not really eating all of that new formula. Look at here. See, the new formula is different. It's made for calves that are being weaned off mamas early. It gives them more than what they normally would get from just regular grains for cattle. And so we buy that special for Waylon and Jolene. He's eating it fine, but there was some left over. <laughs> really? You can see all that we had left over there from yesterday, which means they don't really care for it a whole lot. It's not one of their favorites. Now it's a new formula, it's a new feed. Look at Bucky's. He's letting all you guys know it's a new feed. And so sometimes, and then Voodoo scratching his behind. Voodoo is literally scratching his behind on the fence. <sighs> mm. 
<laughs> How can one focus? If it's not bad enough that I already deal with some, probably, I, I I'm probably have ADHD, attention deficit disorder, ADD. I probably have ADD. I don't know what I have, but I probably do have something like that. And if it's not bad enough that I'm trying to talk and make a video about these calves and the new formula they're having, then I look over and see Bucky's and Voodoo doing all kinds of goofy stuff, waiting for their, their turn to be fed. Jolene, I would like to pour that into this trough so I can get on out of here. Is it good, baby? Y'all can see the differences here in how the grains look for the the older calves compared to the babies quite a bit of difference right there she's such a pretty girl such a pretty girl where's that big galoot at look out anna anna you might want to walk find you somewhere else to go there's plenty of feed troughs available my friends and there's feed in all of them so the dominoes will start to fall let's see how this over here goes huh well, ivy's gonna yield Hey, you big galoot. Oh, sheesh. Okay, well, so right there, the funny thing is, that feed is fine. Moo just saw Santoro getting something that he wasn't getting, and Moo, just out of his own <laughs> greed, out of his own greed, he's like, uh-uh. These are close enough. That's what, that's what happened. Moo's like, you know what? These are close enough where I can control both of them. That's exactly what he did. Did y'all see how clever that was? Which, it's greed, but he's like, uh-uh, these are so close together that I can control both of them. Come on, Santoro. Come here, buddy. I'm just gonna carry this over here. It's my bad shoulder, so I'm trying not to put too much work on it. There we go. Come on, Santoro. Now, now Moo can't control both feed troughs. Santoro's fine, though. He's found another one to eat out of. Dan will share. Sweet baby. She doesn't want to eat. Look, everyone else is eating and being mean to <laughs> piggies, but Tilly doesn't want to eat. She just wants to love. She just needs some love from her daddy. Yes, ma'am. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. I don't like Pebbles the way she's looking. Her coat is very dull. And normally goats have a more shiny coat when they're healthy. I don't know why her hers is so dull and she looks thin to me. And everyone else looks fine, but Pebbles just doesn't look real healthy. I'm kind of worried about her. Now, I believe that she's probably in heat right now. She's making that funny goat noise they make when they're in heat. We don't have any males that are intact, so we're not worried about her getting bred. Hey guys, do you have to fight over the spoon? Brady. But uh, ultimately, I'm just kind of I'm gonna keep my eye on pebbles for a couple of days because what we don't want to have is anything bad happen to her. <laughs> I love her. I love all of y'all, okay? Oh, Leonard, you have oat, uh, oatmeal all over your face. That's my bad shoulder, Ringo. You gotta be careful when Ringo walks up on you. All right, I'm taking that bucket out of here before y'all get it stuck on your head. I'm taking the bucket out before y'all get it stuck on your head, okay? You guys don't need oatmeal anyway. You got other stuff to eat. Keep going, Tilly, right there in front of you. You always put the feet out for the goats the same way you do for everybody else. You're going to get them run off from each other. So you got to always spread more feed than you have goats. Okay. I want to show you something kind of funny. I'm not complaining. I, you're probably saying, Lester, you need to stop complaining and count your blessings. I am. I'm counting my blessings, but this is funny. And I want to share a funny moment with you all. You know, we've had a problem with someone stealing from our, uh, our mail drop a delivery spot right over here and i think that we solved that problem we haven't had any issues since i've taken a few extra steps but now i want to show you what i noticed just now when i brought the trash from the barn down i'm going to turn my camera around 
So they emptied our trash yesterday. And so none of this is any of ours. None of this is any of our trash. None of it. None of this is any of ours. And uh, I want you to look. <laughs> Voces nativas. That says, so that's vo Native Voices. It's called Native Voices. Those are DVDs. And there was an entire case of them that I'm guessing someone at some point tried to sell and couldn't sell them. But Native Voices. Now... What's funny about that is that I talk a lot about this, the, the, the ancients, those indigenous people who lived at Longhorn Lester's before I did, which would in fact be native voices. I'm tempted to climb inside this, my own dumpster and pull out one of them DVDs. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. We are good on oatmeal for at least a month. I joke, you guys really are too kind to us. Thank you for that. I, uh... No, really, thank you for that. So look, all of the babies are out and about on their own, exploring the world. Exploring the world as they know it. Now, they have a very small world right now. Mom has not come out with them yet because she's still sitting on top of other eggs. There's four more that I think might could still be viable, but... As of now, the little pullets are walking around, exploring their little world. There's one way out here by himself. He's like the tat in the group. There is one that I think is a, probably going to be a little male for sure because he's like a little tat. Remember how little tat was always the adventurer when he was younger? He'd venture out further than everybody else would. Look at that one pecking mama's, in the, pecking mama's eyes. And isn't that like every mom... Your kids just want to play and wrestle and pick on you. And you just sit there and take it because you love them so much. They're like, come on, Mama. Walk us around this farm. We want to visit everybody. They don't know that this farm can actually be very dangerous. We have hawks. We do have an occasional dog that runs around here and there. We've tried to catch and return most of those and remind their owners of well that's a long story but these pullets are doing great look at them out and about exploring the world and now they're cold they're like hey mom let us back in let us under mama come on mama let us back in there and y'all hear what i hear you wouldn't hurt those babies would you you would not hurt them babies would you you would not do that. No, you would not, because you're a sweet girl. You would not do that. But you know what? Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and close the door. All right, explore away, little one.